Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Northwest Pro Wrestling Live. How you doing tonight? Well, you are in for a pre-Thanksgiving treat. We've got great action for you tonight. It's going to feature a big U.S. title defense, or it's actually not a defense, but a U.S. title match to go see who's going to win that belt. Right, you are, Ken. Uh, the, the United States Championship is vacant right now, and there's going to be a match to determine who the new champion is. It's going to be a great match. That's Look right, and that's not all, folks. J.D. Mason, everybody knows how much we like J.D., right? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he'll be in action tonight, too. Plus all your favorite Northwest Pro stars. He's Keith, I'm Ken. We're coming up right at you now. You do 
care. Why is this lawyer? No, we don't, man. Maury Lipschitz. He sucks too. You guys get the ball on the Derek Ewan attacking J.D. Mason. Hello, everybody. I'm Ken Hamlin. And I'm Keith Ryan, and this match is about to get underway, and here we go. Right now. Precision accuracy by Derek Hughes. Cover goes on two. Nope. Not that time. Oh, grabbing him by the hair. Wow, oh, running those boot laces right down the eyes of JD Mason. Here comes Ewan. He's going to go from the top. I went this trick. Got him with the slant on. Let's see if it will pay off. Oh, almost. Got him two kicks that time. Put a feather in the cap for you, and it would be if we could pin the champion here in this non-title bout. Right, you are, Ken. You know, JD was the very man that stabbed you and in the back a year and a half. Oh, what an amazing move by Gwen. Two count. Mason now going to the outside, getting some instruction from Morty Lipschitz. Get back in the ring. Yeah, you removed the Z from his last name and get my honest opinion. That's about exactly that, man. right. Uh oh, what's Ewan got in mind? Oh! Amazing! What an amazing move by Darren Ewan off that top rope. Beautiful cannonball sent on, just throwing a uh, caution to the wind there. He has got Mason in trouble here right from the start of the match. Come over, lawyer, whatever you want to call it. Special counsel, lawyer, you know, whatever title. I've got a title for him, but we can't say it on the air. I believe you are. You are now guess. going up top again. Oh, oh wow. wait a minute. Gets caught. Old school backbreaker, but he goes over the top rope. He's getting the cat. You win. Mason gonna learn to work on it. No! No! Oh! 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 oh my god, we can feel that clear over here. Right wow. you are, kid. JD distracting the referee there. Uh, Morty going over now to distract the referee even more. Mason now going to go to work on the outside. He's choking you in there over the guardrail. Come on, referee, come on! Come on, Muppet, use your senses. Bring him back in the ring. Ah. This is a, we will tell everyone at home this is a rookie referee. He's only, uh, re this is only his second night refereeing. As you are, Ken, Lucas Muppet Henson, a uh, newcomer in terms of referees here, but, you know, Man's keeping order as best he can. Right drop there, right on the apron on top of you and cut off the windpipe there. Now he's gonna bring him over there. Oh, land out four on across the back. In to break the count. And JD with a very smart play there, getting inside the ring and going back out, forcing the referee to restart the count. Right, set him up. Oh, oh choke slam right onto the hardest part of the ring. Ewan is in some serious trouble. Ewan yeah. went in only 155 pounds, and I believe about 154 of that is hard. This kid just doesn't give up. Yeah, the survivability of Darren Ewan, you know, he's got really good cardiac survivability, to put it that way. Mason coming in the ring. Oh, 
shaft. There's a count. Brady acting like he's king of the world with that shoddy pinfall. Who taught you how to count? Mason now. Grabbing Gwen now, bringing him up. Ah, knocking him right back down again. Devastating club to the back. JD's going up to the high red district. Mason climbing the ropes. I'm going to win the jackpot. It's JD up there. Banging Ken. There you go. There's... Cover. Got a one. Got a two. Oh, close call there. That was three. I'm not sure what this referee was counting. That's three. Oh. He's just choking the life out of him. You need counseling. He's got a chair. He's got some hardware. Here comes Jamie. Jamie Moonshine. Coming to the aid of Darren Ewan. And folks, if you didn't already know this, JB and JD are family. Right, they had cousins. Our cousins. Just what in the blue hell do you think you're doing? Are you kidding me? You redneck freak, did you not get enough of the bad beat I gave you last month? Did you approve this? Hell no. Hey, come here. Give him this microphone. I don't want him to I want to know what he's doing out here. Give him this. Now we'll hear from JB. JB, what the heck are you doing? We're family, cousin. This is the holiday season. We're supposed to be enjoying the holidays. But instead, we're being brainwashed by this little weasel. Last month, you did see me. What the hell did that title? If not, my hand would have been great. I would have been the champion. I would have been having this right now. I don't but, agree. That's okay. I have the words with the high ones in the back. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and, and they, they granted me a rematch. They granted me a rematch. And and nobody has to wait for Christmas. Nobody has to wait for next year. This is happening tonight. Exactly. Right. And and can you use like uh, you know use weapons and bring in you know banjos and this and that? We're gonna bring it back to the old days. Back to the people, children. Back to the people growing up. This is going to be an Appalachian street fight. Oh my goodness, Ken, did you hear that? that? Means no oh my rules, no DQ, no timeout, and I can take you anywhere in this building, yeah. in the bathroom, outside, we it in the earth, it doesn't matter. One, two, three, and a title of mine. Shut your mouth! So, tonight, Christmas is coming, oh. Get your main event tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Appalachian Street Fight. Balls count anywhere. No rules, no disqualifications. This is going to be an awesome show.
Excuse me, Lumberzak. What? You are competing for a chance at this vacant Northwest Pro United States Championship. What are your thoughts? Tonight, this United States Championship will be the Lumberzaks. affectionately call him and he tugs on something once in a while. Um, it's the Rockabilly Rebel, Lance Dean. It is going to be. Ready? Ready? Ring the bell. Here we go. It's going to be a barn burner. Don't you are, Ken. You got Lance Dean, you know, one of the final holders of the now retired tag team championships going up against one of the most elite competitors in our company right now, Dean Cooper. Yeah, guy. this man has delivered all over the world, including um, appearances on AEW Dark. Yeah, he's definitely getting some elevation, that's for sure. Alright, we're going to get it underway if Bill Good is your referee. And I'm glad they decided to put a guy like Phil Good in there as the referee, because normally, you know, there's uh, Paul Anthony that would be doing all the dirty work for the tug. Now, Paul Anthony not with us this evening. Thank God. I think he was humiliated after last month. 
Go oh, behind yeah. by the Rockabilly Rebel, turning it into a headlock. Nice piece of chain wrestling there. This beautiful chain wrestling taking place. Nice side headlock being initiated. Ultimate guy though, looking like he has an answer for that. Go behind by Doug now. Going to the side headlock. Ah, grinding down on it. Using that upper body strength to hold the Rockabilly Rebel. To the ropes. Ah, holding on to him again. Shows the uh, strength that uh, Mr. Cooper has. Up, oh, nice reversal into a hammer lock. Still holding on to that hammer lock, taking away those points of balance. As you are, Ken, very technically sound is Lance Dean. It was also very smash mouth, very in your face kind of a style. But it's really good to have like a blending of styles like that. Where you're very like no nonsense, yet having a very good like technical pace. One of the third four by Dean, but Cooper breaks the hold. Working on that shoulder and elbow now. Oh, pump handle. That left arm. No. No. the balance point that Cooper's going to go for is that left arm. Yeah, he's going after that left arm with deadly accuracy. And I think I saw a little bit of joint manipulation there as well. Come over. Continues to work on that left arm. Pick a spot and work on it. That's what the methodology of a guy. Oh, picks him off, does uh, the rock really well. Picks him up! And... Break him Smack of that mat was just so loud. We could even hear it from where we were at. Cooper now complaining to the ref. Oh! A low blow by Cooper. Uh, call the Rolling Stones, Ken. I think they had another hit. Cooper with a low blow that time. He kind of set up. Trouble right now. Looks like he's setting him up. Ooh. Going old backbreaker. Oh, going old school there with that. Uh, he is. He's going old school tonight. Atomic drop right there. Snap mare into a grounded uh, chin lock there. Seated chin lock. Throwing his weight across the shoulders of Lance Dean. Also cutting off that win by holding onto that chin. And it looks like he's fighting out of it all. Wait a minute. What's he going to set him up here for now? Oh, that's Cooper getting a little too cocky there. Oh, this drop. That's a good old country move right there, brother. Bet you are, Ken. Shades of the famous wrestling out there in the south. Only a two count. Ah, uh, Doug using the elbow. Yeah. Oh, straight right cross to the forehead. Now he's going back to manipulating that left arm. He's standing over now. He's also getting some pressure on the shoulder, as you can see, Keith. Yeah, he's got some leverage right there in that position he's in, causing Lance Dean a lot of pain. Oh, dropping that elbow there across the neck. Stretch those muscles between the neck and the shoulder. Again, you could be dislocating that shoulder. And that is not a good day to have if you have your shoulder like dislocated like that. Yeah. Cooper very proud of himself. Gonna go for the cover. Got one, two, and twice. Cooper's can't say it should have been a three. Backs him up to the ropes. Oh, big chop. Asking the crowd, they want another one. Gives him to the ropes. Sunset flip. One, two, oh, Cooper kicks out. Start on the low time. One, two. Only two. 
Not a very good cover that time. No, it was a very shoddy cover right there from the ultimate guy. Ah, Cooper now going outside. Find those ropes. He's gambling, Ken. Only one place to do that, the high rent district. He's taking, he's taking a little bit of extra time, and that's gonna, I think that's going to be a downfall. Of course it is. Woo. Downfall is an understatement, Ken. Can I call that or what? <laughs> totally called it. Yeah, too much time by Dean Cooper allowed Ryan Cooper to get up there and knock him down off that top rope. Setting him up. Oh, going with the axe handle. Cooper catches him with a boot. No! No! Cooper's got him in the corner. Back him in. The crowd's listening. He's listening to the body slam. Up the elbow smash. Missed by Country Mile there. Cooper going in and missing. That's Dean out of the way. Ducks the clothesline. Oh. Spinning got fist. A, got a little bit of that there, but he got a lot of that one. Two spinning fists in a row by Lance Dean. Cooper going for the right. And a third line. That one puts Cooper down. But smartly, he's rolling to his stomach where he can't be pinned. I'm not sure, Ken, you know, third time's the charm there for Lance Dean on those uh, discus forearms. Setting him up now. Setting him up. Oh, butterfly suplex that time. Beautiful variation of a double arm. Oh, to the ninth man. Cooper just got the shoulder up. Almost lost his gold belt there, right there. I thought he had him. You know, he hit a beautiful double R DDT and wasn't able to get the three count there. Just that amazes me. Sets him up now, got him in a fireman's carry. Oh, he's breaking out. Elbows to the head. He's reversing that into a fireman's carry. What's he going for? Pops him down hard. One, two. Two. Version of a tiger driver there. Almost put him away. Cooper just cannot put Lance Dean away. Yeah, Lance Dean is one of the toughest guys on West Pro Wrestling. Oh, Dean reverses the whip. Puts Cooper on the outside. Oh, looks like you hit him in the eye. Very amazing show of agility there. Oh, trying that top rope again. Got in mind. Setting him up. Stunner! Big time stunner. Down goes Cooper. Like a big red wing. Tim Burke. There's the cover by D1, 2. Hands on the ropes. And Cooper has the foot. I'll check that in town. And on the ropes. So call for a break. Very uh, instinct. Good ring awareness yeah, of where he was at the time. Very good instinct, that ring awareness. Oh, just a double axe handle to the gut that time. Setting him up for a suplex. Down hard goes Lance Dean. The Rockabilly Rebel now in, in trouble. To the cover. Oh, two and nine tenths that time. Two and 15 sixteenths right there, Ken. You caught whatever it is, 31, 30 seconds. I don't know, but it was as close as close can be. Cooper not happy. Ow, oh, what's he doing now? He's going over and picking up his title belt. What could he be doing here? Go Whoa! Swing it. Oh, nice knee. There's a cover. Could be. Might be. It is. We have a new Washington State champion. Champion. Much deserved victory. I'll tell you sometimes. Sometimes you don't lose the same match. 
Tackle on bro. Hey, what's happening? So, you are competing for a chance at this Northwest Pro United States Championship. You know it's currently vacant. What are your thoughts? You, you know what my thoughts are? My thoughts are this is great. The United States Championship and the NWP. Ain't that a great thing? You think that's a great thing? You know what I think is a great thing is me, Taekwon Bro, being the second one to be holding the Northwest Pro United States title. And guess what? Man, I get to get some vengeance on top of that Lumberzak. You handed, you handed my belt to JD Mason. What do you get for it? All you get is a crummy title shot. Heck, I thought they would hand you the moan, Joker. But guess what, Lumberzak? Since you want to interfere in Taekwondo Bro business, you about to enter the bro. Strong words from a strong man. It's really good stuff they say, especially people over 30, 60 years old. JD, JD, what? Dude, how how can you be? I'm talking with this guy to begin with in the first place, but now what about what about what you did to your own family last night? My own month? family? Yeah, your own family, your cousin, JB Moonshine. You guys were partners. You wanna talk about family, Ken? Let's go ahead and tell the people about family. family. All the people sitting with their families. Let's be real. Family does nothing but use and abuse. My only family is right here, the NWP title. Oh, and this man on. right here, Morty Blitzshits. Oh. Ken, grow up. Oh God, we're it's, it's family. What do you, how can you do that? Ken, there's a lot of people running around this arena and this state saying I like to screw people over. But let's be real, I ain't never f***ed anyone over that didn't deserve it. And it's not my fault. Everyone deserves it. Ken, what the man said is the truth. If you don't like it, then get the hell out of here. We are on to our third match this evening. Our first opponent from Frisco, Texas, weighing in at 100.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are set for our third bout of the evening. New to Northwest Pro, Mr. Eric Wright, but not new to professional wrestling here in the Pacific Northwest. He has been a major player for a number of promotions throughout Oregon and Washington. Mark, and you've got Eric Wright, you know, one of his first times here in Northwest Pro, but no stranger to the Northwest himself. And then you've got on the other side the pride of Frisco, Texas. You know, a man that's got the world in the palm of his hand, Enter Spoon Man, Christian Wilde. Yeah, the Frisco kid himself. Eric Wright, taking a, a little time to uh, go out and speak with his new fans. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Sort of. All right, he looks in very good condition. Tie up collar and elbow. Go behind now. Leg dive takedown. Ah! Adding a little insult to injury there to the youngster. Yeah, kind of just paint brushing him a little bit there. Mr. Wright has a distinct, distinct experience advantage here over young Christian Wilde. But that, you know. Sometimes cockiness, sometimes experience uh, can backfire on you. We'll just have to see what happens with Christian. But at your mark, Ken, you know, you've got guys that have, like, uh, an ego that happens to backfire on them. Exactly. Oh, on the break. Oh! Missed going in. Oh, big clothesline by Christian Wilde. Him. Yeah, and Christian Wilde is like the Joey Wheeler of Northwest Pro. He's an ultimate underdog. Exactly. In the corner, idiot. I gave him a five count. Oh. Complaining to the referee sign guy, our senior official, about the hitting into the while well, he's in standing in the corner. There's a good tie-up color, although let's see who's going Go behind my Wilde. Wright's trying to break it by prying open the hands. Christian's got a death grip on there. Oh, just right down. Nice drop toe hold and into a headlock on the mat. Wild now brings it into a hammer lock. Nice bit of wrestling right there. As you are, Ken, you know, very technical, very, you know, innovative, so to speak, when it comes to Christian Wild in his offense. Mr. Wright there knows exactly how to break the hold, though. He's been around here quite a bit here in the Northwest. One of the veterans of the business, if you Big chop by Wild. That makes, uh, sends Wright over to the other corner. Out of there. Oh, another big chop by Christian Wild. I think he's going back watching some of his old matches when he was getting chopped by guys like Lumberjack and J.D. Mason. Oh. Good God. Yeah, uh, Christian has had matches in the past up against some, you know, bigger, stronger guys. You know, you mentioned Lumberjack earlier. And, you know, the survivability, tenacity of Christian Wildcat. Eric Wright brings him back in over the top rope. Yeah. Eric Wright with a uh, similar, like, no-nonsense, in-your-face, smash-mouth kind of approach. Also, uh tries to take liberty with the rules every now and again. Take liberties, period, I think, especially with a young man like this. Big chops by Eric Wright. Yeah, you can just hear the reverberations. Turnbuckle treatment. He's gonna grab him by the hair now. Oh! Wild reverses it, puts him out over the top. Skin the cat. Right, coming back. Breaking some hearts with that technique, and wait a minute. Got a clothesline over the top rope, and out to the floor goes uh, Eric Wright. I believe that was the wrong thing to do by Mr. Wright. Definitely not the right decision there, Ken. Christian Wilde now rolls him back in. 
asking for a timeout, it looks like, but there are no timeouts in professional wrestling. Begging off a little bit here, saying, no, 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 give me a minute. There you go. Oh, yeah, there he goes. <coughs> Excuse me, that way, um, fine guy tells him, no timeouts. But he lured in Christian Wilde. That's a rookie mistake right there. Yep. Just eating Christian Wilde's head right into that uh, second turnbuckle and a shot there to the back. Another one to the side. Eric Wright going to boss the referee a little bit. And a tough guy in the referee there. All right, puts him to the ropes. Calling for the break. Oh, big forearm smash right across the chest. Sets him for the ride. Beautiful tilt of whirl head scissors by Christian Wilde. Guy's got agility. Throwing those elbows into the buckle. Down goes right. For the ride. Oh, nice drop kick by Christian Wilde. Puts Eric right down to the mat hard. Oh! Wild now. He has become very aggressive. Very wild, so to speak, and Oh, big forearm, and another big forearm. And a third one. That's knocking right for a loop. Gotta stay on him, kid, though. Don't give him any time to recover. That could be a possibility right here. You got a man weakened, you gotta stay on him. Oh, come on again and again and again. Another big forearm smash. Turnbuckle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to the floor. A perfect tilt. Really knows how to do that. It's over. Kick out. Close call there. Eric Wright getting the shoulder up at two. Wish a while not happy about that outcome. Both men now trying to get back to their feet. Wild coming over. Irish whip. Nope, reversal. And trying it again. He was going for another tilt of the little head scissor, but got caught into that backbreaker. Devastating backbreaker from Eric Wright. Yeah. Eric Wright really proud of his handy whip. That's where that. Uh, Experience comes in for sure. Dropping the knee down is Eric Wright. And dropping it again on that shoulder of Christian Wilde. Three times in a row. And you roll him over and pull through the cover. Only a two. He gets the shoulder up. Eric Wright is just not happy about that though. Plead this case to the referee. All right, now bending the rules just a little bit here. Got a hold of the hair. He broke the royal. He broke the hole. Oh, uppercut that time by Eric Wright. One caveat about having uh, long hair, Ken, is it could get in the way of your eyes sometimes, obstructing your vision. Nice German, not uh, European type uppercut by Eric Wright. Snapmare. Oh, going over. Didn't get it all that time. Taking nothing away from Eric Wright. Eric Wright knows all the tricks. He knows all the moves. He's very knowledgeable about the business game. Only a two count that time. I think Wright's getting a little bit frustrated now that he can't put this youngster away. Yeah, he's going back to paint brushing uh, Christian Wilds in the back of the head. Oh, knee strike knee. there. Oh, that knee right in oh. the middle of the back, right in the spine. And he's wrenching that chin lock again, but you see he's got his left knee just applying pressure, extra pressure to the back. What do you say? That's right. No, I'm <laughs> and he has that wrapped around the chin, which is also helping cut off the airflow. Ask him if he wants to give up. <laughs> you 
says no. Wild now. Looking to get some of that fan power. Like I said, Ken, he's got the world in the palm of his hands. Does Big Christian elbow. Know. Another one. Times three. Off the ropes. Oh, caught a knee. Knee right to the gut. You could see Christian Wilde's face turn pink. Eric Wright had that in mind all along, you could tell. Yeah, those knee strikes to the gut can really take the wind out of your sins. Nice picking up Wright, gonna set him up. Check that picking up Wilde, setting him up. Looks like he might be going for a suplex. Taking a little bit of time to set that up. He's got him up there. A couple knees to the face. Roll up. Oh, that was too close. Wright got his feet on the ropes. Drops down with that double forearm across the back of the head of Christian Wilde. Another thing about Christian Wilde, too, you know, he's got that stamina. He's able to keep surviving. He's got a lot of heart, this kid does. But, you know, he's going up against a guy who's very, he's got all the tools at his disposal with Eric Wright. Right now, looks like he's got he's gone into a uh, form of the Swedish cravat. Oh, bringing a knee up. Another knee right there. He's just wrenching the neck with that cravat. And a third knee. Puts him down to the mat. Right here, I believe, thinks he's got this all taken care of. Yeah, wiping his hands, saying, I think my work here is done. Goes for the cover. One, two. two. Oh, and and he's got he more work to do. No cover. No correct cover. No leg hook. Didn't put his full body weight across his shoulders. He felt that he had to push him out down to the count that time, but it didn't work. Eric Wright looking to put Christian away. Big Cut. knee right to the gut. Yeah, psyched him out there. Ooh! Knee drop right across the head. That could do it. And another one right across the head. Oh my goodness. That could call lights out for Christian Wilder. Look in the leg. Ah. And he gets the shoulder up again? This kid has got the heart of a lion, I'm telling you. The endurance. Christian Wyatt. He's got that front face lock down on the mat. You watch for a choke in this. What you know, that little trick that he did there, he applied a little bit of extra pressure onto the head, getting a little bit of leverage. Wild now trying to break out of it. Looking to get some fan power. Does that little trick again, but Christian Wilde getting the crowd on his side. That crowd can do wonders for a guy like Wilde. They can make him get, get some energy back. Nice work in seeing every single person in this building clapping their hands for Christian Wilde. He's fighting out. Big knee lift by Christian Wilde. Oh, super kick! Right flush to the chin. Big elbow. And a big one at that. One, two, oh. almost took his head off. Just full speed ahead with that goal. Wild now taking advantage. With oh, wait do. a minute. Stratisfaction. Guarantee. Now I should do it. Cover him, kid. What's he going to do? Top rope. He's looking to make Trish proud there. Oh, my gosh. He had him. He should have covered him. This might be. This might not work. Yeah, it might be a mistake here. Light is up. Groggy doesn't know where he's at. Fire body press. Beautiful. Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three. Oh, really? Oh. Eric Wright, you're going to use veteran experience. Roll right through that and made the pass. Again, it just 
goes to show you time veteran experience wins out. Christian Wilde, you know what? That's a lesson learned for that young man. Winning way, debuting here at Northwest Pro for Mr. Eric Wright. Right place, right time for Eric Wright tonight. And we'll be right back with more action. Eric Wright, you think that pulling my tights and pinning me like that... Wine, 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 you suck kid, you know it. Listen, Eric Wright, you cheated tonight, you know it, everyone out there knows it, I certainly know it. Next month, I want to rematch, that wasn't fair, you know that I can beat you, I had the upper hand tonight, and I'll show you next month.
All right, we are set for tonight's match for the vacant United States Championship here in Northwest Pro. Thanks, you are, Ken. You know that United States title vacant. The uh, former champion couldn't able, uh, wasn't able to defend it due to injury, so uh, the title was vacated. And now you got to see Taekwon Bro going one on one against the Lovers Act to determine who that new champion is going to be. Yeah, it was determined these two guys, seeing that both of them have held all the titles here in Northwest Pro, except this one. They were determined to be the top two uh, competitors to go after the titles. Mitch Arkin, you know, you've got former tag team champion, former Washington State champion, came in with like a big winning streak in the Lumberjack, and then you have the former world champion, a black belt martial artist, in Taekwon Bro. Not only has he been the NWP champion, he's also been the uh, he's also been the Washington State champion a couple of times, and I believe he's held the tag team titles at one time also. So, I mean, Taekwon Bro is a decorated star here in Northwest Pro. Let's not forget, he also won the best in the Northwest tournament last year. He did it that. A lot of accolades. Lumberjack now using that big 300 plus round frame to uh, take Taekwon Bro down with nothing but a just a big push. Yeah, Lumberjack equipped with sheer brute force. You know, very strong is the Lumberjack. On the other side, you've got technique, you've got footwork. You know, you've got technical ability when it comes to Taekwon Bro, one of the best pure strikers in the Northwest. That's true. He and I were talking backstage about that, about his striking ability. Lumberjack and Taekwon Bro tie up. Pushes Taekwon Bro back to the rope and throws an elbow on the break. Being warned by referee Phil Good. You know, earlier tonight I approached Lumberjack, asked him how he felt going into this match, and that's how he audacity to rip that title belt away from me during that interview. Oh, there's a clothesline. And it, uh, again, Lumberjack was part of the reason that uh, Taekwon Bro lost the Northwest Pro title in a ladder. Taking him out of the knees. Oh! One saw kick, roundhouse, right flush to the temple. Do count that time, big kick out by Lumberjack. He's not going to put him down that easy. Backtrack a little bit here, Ken. You are right. Lumberjack was involved in the what I call the screwing of Taekwon Bro, where he lost the uh, Northwest Pro Championship in that ladder match against one JD Mason. Uh oh. What's he got? He's up on the top. Oh! He went out of what a move by Lumberjack! Lumberjack with the smarts to get out of the way. You know, when you fall from a height like that and hit nothing but the mat, it hurts more than you think. Ah, didn't know he had that quickness in him, boy, I tell you. Lumberjack now, that's kind of turning the tide a little bit in his favor. He was just throwing those big right hands across the chest and the face of Taekwon Bro. Uh, one of Lumberjack's favorite things to do in life is beat people up, and this is no different when it's inside a wrestling ring. I'm still amazed at that duck down move, almost a Matrix type move for Lumberjack to get out of that way. Lumberjack now gonna set him up for a suplex. Kind of a common suplex slam there that time. Yeah, he took a couple of extra seconds there, holding him up, letting his uh, blood rush to his head for good measure. The cover. Oh, no, I think he's got the... Oh, he's got the... Is he choking him? Oh, no, he's got the, the knee now. It looked like he did initiate a choke hold there. Yeah, I think he has his ankle across the throat of Taekwon, bro. Lumberjack now not paying attention. He's barking at the fans. He should be picking up on it and, and uh, going to town on Taekwon Bro. Oh, headbutt! Well, if there's anything that Lumberjack dislikes the most, it is the capacity crowd. He is uh, going to draw the ire of 
the referee and get himself disqualified. Yeah, that wouldn't be good for Lumberjack. But... Oh, oh, a big boy sent off. Oh. Two. Ah. Two. Taekwon bro got the shoulder up. Absolutely. Bit of a, a little bit of a slow count there on the part of Phil. Good, but uh, wow. still a good thing for Taekwon bro. Not, not that I blame him any after Lumberjack tried to rough him up a little bit. But he does need to be, he does need to stay fair and call it right down the middle. Look at that, choking him. He just got his, oh, the, oh. 350 pounds down across the throat. Shades of one of the world's largest athletes just easily stepping on Taekwon Bro's chest over him. Like he was a stepping stone. I'm not sure he can get his breath. Backs him to the corner now. Ooh, big chop. Uh-oh, he's opening the gi. Oh, another big chop. Oh, uh, Taekwon Bro is in some serious trouble, bro. Uh, the, the look on his face tells the story. Oh, oh. right in the sternum. Oh, oh, ah, bro gets the foot up. Lumberjack charges in. He's got first. Going up now on the second row. What's he going for? Oh, he's going to go up to the top. He's going all the way. All the way up. You know, a match of this magnitude, you got to go all in. A big, just a big face slap to Daekwon Bro. Just paint him. Yeah, you could hear the smack. Oh, Tricon Bro coming back for the forearm smash. Hit by to the back of the head. He's going back up. Oh. Ooh. They're going to be up there. It looks like they're getting up on the turnbuckle. They're gonna, what's the lumber that going to do? Brace yourself, kid. We might be seeing something with high impact here. Yeah, we could have an earthquake here. This could be the big one. Could go at least 4.0 on a Richter stick. There it is. Oh, a table move. Throw back up on the top. Hard. One, two. Oh, two and nine, ten. Two. <gasps> the look of shock on Taekwon Bro's face. He thought he had him. I thought he had him too. <laughs> oh my God. What's it gonna take? Both these men are go are going after that beautiful title belt to become not only the first, the second U.S. title holder here at Northwest Pro. Yeah, you know, there's things you know that you can get off of like websites like Amazon, and then there's amazing belts like that United States Championship that are very unique, custom made. Down goes. Lumberjack, like a big redwood. One, two. Oh. Another close call there. I thought he had him. You know, he got the shoulder up at the last possible second. Bro saying he's going up one more time. I don't know if I do that or not. That's a big gamble going up to the top. Yeah, that was a big gamble right here. Oh. Lumberjack playing it smart. He knew where he was at that point in time, managed to use the ropes for leverage, stops Taekwon Bro, and uh, Taekwon Bro is feeling it in a certain place. You know, he had another, yeah, yeah. Uh oh, he's got him set up. Is he going to go for a power slam? Lucky he didn't go all the way through that 
that ring. Just when I thought J.D. Mason was the scum of the earth, we see something like this happen with the Lumber Zack. Lumber Zack, your new United States champion here in Northwest Pro. We'll be back with more right after this. signature 
you know, JB with this bright idea using the contract to start this match off, just knocking it right against his noggin. Moonshine now sending him turnbuckle treatment. Mason into that turnbuckle hard. Yeah, keep in mind, this is going to be an Appalachian street fight. No disqualifications. Ah, no another confidence. turnbuckle. Hell, lost count anywhere for the championship. Turnbuckle treatment four times. You gonna set him up again? Oh, turnbuckle treatment again. There's a cover. One, only one. JB's gonna use whatever he can to take this title from his cousin, J.D. Mason. Yeah, they had a match last time that ran out in JB's favor. However, JB got the authorization from the powers that be here at Northwest Pro to get himself a rematch, and he had it granted. Covered by May uh, Moonshine, only a two count. And now, fans, this can go anywhere. This can go outside the ring. It can go up here on the stage. It can go outside in the parking lot, even in the bathroom. You know? Ten piece of punches to the noggin of J.D. Mason, and J.D. goes down like Ken, you would say, a redwood tree. He just, he just face planted in that ring. And Lipschitz is going, why are you letting him hit it? It's no disqualification. It's anything goes. It's false count anywhere. It's a street fight. Get it through your head, Morty. You know, on the one hand, yeah, all weapons are legal and there are no disqualifications. But on the other side of the coin, JD can use his uh, dastardly wits and, uh, you know, sinister intelligence, or lack thereof, uh, against JD. Who knows, we can see that barbed wire crutch like we would always see in matches like that. You never know. Working on the outside now, Mason. Morty Lipschitz was over there incapacitating Moonshine. Now JD's going to work out there. It looks like he's biting him. He's biting him. And that dog at work, as usual. He's despicable, I tell you. He's despicable. Right, Ken. He has screwed over Taekwon Bro for the, you know, denying him a shot at the world title. Looks like... Oh, body slam outside the ring that time by Mason. Well, JD has also summoned assistance from those in the past, like Lumberzak, Morty. Oh my God, nobody wants to see that. Good Lord. Just a boot right to the head. Yeah, they should put those big black sensor bars over JD Mason. Yeah, that would be something. He's uh, biting him! Look at that, he's biting his forehead! Just absolutely rabid. Are you kidding me? Nobody fed this guy today. What's he gonna do now? He's gonna come down with a leg drop, maybe? Oh, he missed! Oh! Even I felt that. That. Oh, he'll see his chiropractor on Monday. Look at Moonshine go on those right hands! Try getting a little giddy. Just keep that Lipschitz dude out of the way. On to the steel steps. That could yeah, have broken his nose. Lipschitz is full of surprises and not the good one. Ooh! Right out here in front of us. Comes Mason now with a shot. Uh, is he going to whip him? Reversal. Oh! Into the steel stairs. And he felt that for sure. Cover one, two. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, balls count anywhere. Come on, JD. You can do it, man. You can do it. You got I could have separated uh, JD's shoulder there. Yeah, JD would have been injured there. Not a good time for anybody. Coming back now, Mason. What's he going for? He's going for some plunder, it looks like. Well, he's got some hardware, form of a, of a chair. I did, Ken. You know, I've looked it up. You know, those plastic chairs do way more damage than a steel one. Oh, he just threw it at JB. 
Going back for more. You're gonna wear him out. Oh! oh. Throws the chair into the ring. Rolling Moonshine back in. Good lord. Now he's gonna set. How, what's he gonna do now? He's untying his boot. Oh, I've seen this before, Ken. That oh, is not my. a good sign. That's not a smart idea. Now he's choking him. Choking him, nothing they can do about it. There's no breaks, no nothing. Anything goes. Yeah, Just normally the referee would break the count, but since there's no the We've seen him remove his boot before. I think he's gonna try and use it as a weapon. Yeah, that's never good. He's gonna make this place stink like something unimaginable. Oh, I'm telling you. Taking off, taking his own sweet time, taking the boot off. Giving his opponent, JB Moonshine, a little time to recover. Oh, and he's throwing a drop kick, and I'm Moonshine out here on the hard floor. Oh, the boot comes off. What is Morty going to do? Oh, hits him in the back with that bucket and tries to pour some moonshine on him. That stuff will get in your eyes. It'll sting. Yeah, it could burn your eyes because of the uh, the content of the alcohol within that moonshine. Now that 140 proof. Mason now back in the ring. What's he going to do? Oh my goodness. Is he going to drop him across the chair? Oh! Oh, that'll hurt the sack of really acting those vertebrae. God. Cover. One and two. Very devastating uh, backbreaker there using that plastic chair that was propped up from earlier. Oh, I, I, oh there's a kick right to the gut. Oh, the tiger turned. Turn. Oh, right across the head. Oh, how the tables have turned. This is exciting. Look at that. Dropping the dropping on the chair, on Mason, on his ribs. Could have easily broken his ribs. You know, using a weapon in that type of fashion is a double-edged sword. Not only can it hurt your opponent, it can also hurt you a little bit as well. Ah, two and a half. You know, you see JP kind of favoring that elbow a little bit there after uh, dropping it on that, on that uh, chair. Grabbing that chair again now. He is ready in it. Oh, Mason, drop kick. Came back and snapped right back and hit Moonshot in the forehead. I think of that chair causing it to rebound right into JB's face. Like I said, a double edged sword. Out now? Oh my god, here comes a table. Oh my goodness, JD's got wood. In the form of a table. JD has wood in the form of a table. This uh this does not bode well for JB Moonshine. Off the rope! Oh, 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 right oh, into that chair. Oh, that even made sign guy cringe. Oh. Speaking of weapons, JD has that sinister look on his face as he has the table. Gonna set that table up. Lean it up in the corner. We 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 kinda know what's gonna happen here. He's gonna try and put Moonshine through that table. Only a two. One. Only a one. It's getting worse. JD said something as he was propping that table up. You know, shades of Lars Ulrich from Metallica. He said, I am the table, meaning that he's planning to use that table in a very sinister fashion. Mason's going to have to cover him better. He's kicking out every time. Moonshine looking to get some fan power behind him. No good thing about covering opponent that many times you cause them to exert that energy thus having them wear themselves out faster and faster there we go oh block he stopped himself there goes moonshine hitting mason is he gonna do an exploder it sure looks that way no oh, wait a minute what's morty doing up there? get morty off of there get morty off of there 
Sign guy. No. Come on. Oh, Tebow. Some of that table there, uh, the table's still surviving. Yeah, the bottom parts have kind of busted up. Oh man, two count. Do it again. Come on, JB, do it again. I hate to be a biased guy, but. Oh, he's. Oh! Oh! Look at the spear. JD into that table, but JD with a very smart decision to sidestep out of the way, causing JB to run full through the head through that table. And he added a little extra pressure to it when he, threw, he kind of threw him in from the back of the neck. That table has folded up like a cheap suit. And that could do it for Moonshine right here. One, two. Oh, he kicked out again. But uh, Moonshine Power is working. Oh, well, you know, JD with a very lame attempt at a cover there. Normally you're supposed to, you know, uh, put your body weight down, hook the leg. Another chair coming into play. And another chair, and another chair coming into play. What do we got going on here? Two steel chairs, one man. That could mean something. Really bad. I was thinking concerto, but not for what uh, Mason is doing right here. Uh, JD, very sinister. I, I hope it's not what I think it's going to be. But it looks like it might be. He's got him set up now. I'm going to try and. Oh, best fight of the chance! What a reversal by Moonshine! It is, you shall receive. Oh my god, I'm gonna be horsey. Lose my voice after this match, it's so exciting. There's a cover. One, two. Got it, two. Rich Markin, I am just warming up with excitement over this match. You know, anything can happen in Appalachian Street Fight. You see J.P. Moonshine getting moonshine up here. He shined up. You know, that special elixir. He's looking for a piece of hardware himself. What could he be finding? He's oh. searching everywhere. Oh! Amazon Prime delivered. Looks like Christmas came early for JB Moonshine and oh my goodness. Oh my god! He's got a baseball bat. And not just a baseball bat, Ken. Those are thumbtacks. He's got a thumbtack covered baseball bat. Oh! Shot to the dome and tax are flying air. One more time. Come on, JB. You know, the words of someone special counsel once said, they are taking it to the extreme. <laughs> JB's got a table of his own. Man, there's thumbtacks all over that ring. JB's gonna try and set that, get that table set up. Rolling it over. He's gotta be careful, he, he doesn't wanna take too much time putting that table together. That could give JD the there edge is. there to recover. There goes the chair in the corner. I think mayhem is gonna happen right here, right now. Mayhem, thy name is Vaughn. He's blocking it, he blocked it. Look at Lipschitz. Take him out, Moonshine. Take him out. Get him, JB. Oh, my goodness. Oh, JB took it right across the head. He's onto the table now. What's he going to do? Maury Lipschitz in a uh, in a trance of confusion there. JB just like planning a good old fashioned smooch on, on him. Well, they're gonna tape into the table. And Maury's actually inside the ring this time, assisting JD. Well, somebody come help. 
JB Moonshot. This is a God, this is a travesty right here. Using that industrial strength tape. This this is why I think Morty should be barred from ringside. Oh my god. I've never seen anything like this. Before. Taping him to a table. Look, he's even got the tape over his mouth. What is Mason got in store? It's all yours. Like I said, one word to describe the sinister, absolutely sinister. Oh my god. His own family, his own cousin. His own cousin. What are you doing, G? Mason, you're despicable. Blast through the tape. One, two, three. Yeah. Unbelievable. You're right, you're right, champ. Unbelievable. He's your winner and still Come North on. Black Road Champion, right J.D. Lincoln. Good night, nurse. That was something else, Keith. Yeah, you know, I gotta say this, Ken. You know, one of these days, Morty Lipschitz is gonna get a receipt. He is going to get exactly what he's deserved. Same with JD Mason. He's gonna get his one. I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. That man needs to keep his nose out of everybody's business. Guy taking the spotlight and just keeping it on himself. He's a glory hand. Not bad enough. Snot rocketing right into that hand, trying to mock the crowd here. Despicable. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a travesty. That man right there should be barred from ringside. Right, you are, Ken, you know, I've said it before, I'll say it again. One of these days, those two men are going to get, get what's there. coming. Through. They're going to get there. One of these days. You're gonna get yours one of these days. And I hope I'm here to see it. Never happen. Well, that's gonna wrap up our show tonight, Keith. All right, you are, Ken. You know, we're gonna be coming back December 3rd. That's right, right. here. We'd love to see everybody out here and uh, get to, uh, on December 3rd. Come on by. Come on and see us. It'll be another great night of Northwest Pro action as everybody cheers JB trying to get back to his feet in there. Took a heck of a, heck of a shot. You know what? It's Keith. I'm Ken. We'll see you next time. Keep it at the Civic Center, December 3rd. No, you're not going to miss it. You're not going to miss it. Be here December 3rd. Our better lives.